how's it going all? Today I'm bringing you another trade up video which will be the second one after my previous Scream Fortress 12 trade up video I did back in October. If you'd like to watch that I will pin a notification on the screen right now. But to get into this video I'll be doing a total of three trade ups from three different collections. Two of them being mercenary grade to commando grade and the third being assassins grade to elite grade and all trade ups will be of the strange quality. The first of the three collections will be the Quarantined Collection, which will consist of four Strange Mercenary Grade Phobos Filters, four Strange Mercenary Grade Life Support Systems, one Strange Mercenary Grade Final Frontiersman, and one Strange Mercenary Grade Universal Translator. The second of the three collections will be the Confidential Collection, but with two items from the Quarantined Collection as filler. And this one will consist of three Strange Mercenary Grade Graylians, two Strange Mercenary Grade Space Divers, two Strange Mercenary Grade Head Full of Hot Airs, one Strange Mercenary Grade Cadet Visor, and two Strange Mercenary Grade Phobos Filters. The third and final collection will be the Summer 2020 collection and will consist of six Strange Assassins Grade Flame Hawks and four Strange Assassins Grade Hawk Warriors which all together were obtained through buy orders from the Steam community market, totaling to $78.90 AUD. Now the possible outcomes for each of these trade-ups, starting with the Quarantine Collection, can result in a strange Captain Spaceman, an all-class helmet, a strange rocket operator outfit for the engineer, or a strange shooting star sniper rifle for the sniper. So out of this first trade up, getting either of the two first is a loss in potential profits resulting in bonks. However, getting the shooting star sniper rifle, which is a cool invasion update reskin for the Machina sniper rifle, will result in a profit, which will be stonks for the first trade up. Now in the past, I've actually done this trade up quite a lot and succeeded more often than not. And I do need a strange shooting star for my sniper. So fingers crossed. The possible outcomes for the Confidential Collection slash Part Quarantine Collection is all three I've just stated previously from the Quarantine Collection, as well as a Strange Jupiter Jetpack for the Pirate, a Strange Phononaut All Class Hat, and a Strange Kappa, a Multi Class Laser Pistol. So like the first trade up, getting either of the first two from either collections is a loss in potential profits, resulting in bonks. However, getting a strange shooting star, or more importantly, the strange kappa, which is also a cool invasion update reskin, but for the pistol, will result in a profit, which will actually be more stonks than getting the strange shooting star. And finally, the possible outcomes for the summer 2020 collection can result in a strange bread crab, an all class hat, or a strange hypno eyes glasses, which are goofy looking spiral glasses and are also all class as well. However, the thing that makes these glasses cool is one, they're paintable, two, they have two different styles, spinning and shining, and three, and most importantly, when the spinning style is selected, the spiral on the eyepieces rotate, creating a hypnotic spiral effect, which is probably the coolest thing that any pair of glasses in the game can do. Now getting the breadcrab is a loss in potential profits, which results in bonks. However, getting the strange hypno eyes will of course result in stonks with all the cool features it possesses. And I'm really hoping on getting these as getting them pretty much by itself pays for the majority of what it costs for all three trade ups combined. And with all that info out of the way, let's start with the first trade up. Okay, so let's get into this. First things first, let's put these items in here. So if you guys are interested in actually doing this, always check the current market prices if you decide to do this trade up, um, especially in the future as prices are subject to change over time. Um, the items used to trade up as well as the items you get from the outcome of the trade may be worth more or less when you decide to do these trade ups. But let's go for just something positive here. So bless thy Gaben. There we go. Okay. Put a smiley face here. And maybe, let's put a halo. Yeah, let's put a nice hit. Oh, damn it. Okay, I screwed that one up, but I usually win these, so screw it. You know what? Yep, let's do this. Come on, I win these. I usually win these. Yes, there we go. I got it. Nice, I, I usually always win these, so I wasn't 
I was worried, but I wasn't really worried. I really wanted this, so thankfully I got it. I mean, I was tempted to buy a strange machina, but I thought I could get one cheaper and it's a uh, cool space aged uh, invasion update version of the machina. So I'm happy I got it. And let's find an outfit to put this on on the sniper. Let's pop it on this guy here. Uh, needs a more Christmassy theme, don't you think? There we go. So we've got the, got the lights, unusual on there. Aussie summer shades for the Aussie Christmas this summer. Yes, it's summer in Christmas in Aussie land. So, and obviously the tuxi because uh, every assassin needs to look professional. So there we go. We managed to succeed the first trade up. Hopefully the next trade up goes smoothly. Okay, so now this trade up here, hopefully I actually do end up getting either the shooting star, but I really want that Kappa. It is pretty much the pistol. It functions the exact same as the pistol, but I just love that, the laser, the pew pew laser action there. So each of these pretty much are from the confidential collection cost me $1.75 each on buy orders. So it was $16.50 all up. Uh, and the Phobos, um, and the Phobos items pretty much cost $1.25. So we'll put shooting star. That's pretty much what I want to get or Kappa. Uh, we need to put the dots in. Oh shit, I screwed up that A. Oh no, I screwed, I screwed up the A. Oh no. It's just, it's just a positive feedback of failure. I screwed up the E and the R now. Oh no. Should I back out? Let's put a smiley face. Hopefully it'll, maybe I should just stop. Stop while I'm ahead. Why am I still writing? Oh no, now I've screwed up Gaben. Gaybev. Gaybev. <laughs> Let's back out. I need to back out, please. Screw it. I'm going for it. Oh, okay. Flat. Send. Please. Oh no, I'm fucked. I'm totally fucked here. Yep. Oh no. Strange phono naught. Oh, I should have backed out. I really should have backed out there. That's just the helmet of failure right there. Special helmet of failure, my goodness. Oh well. That's about like what three dollars? That's a that's a rip there. That's bonks. Anyway, next trade up. Okay, so each of these I had to put a buy order for four dollars ninety-nine each AUD on the Steam Community Market. I had to do like two or three at a time because putting too many at the at the same price, like not only do you sell sell orders, like people that are selling items on the Steam Community Market, and people aren't just competitive with them, people are also competitive with buy orders. So I had to do bit by bit, which is why this kind of this this video took as long as it did. So I'm gonna actually draw something here. I'm gonna draw the glasses. Oh no, I screwed up the glasses. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, um, we'll try, I'm gonna try and fix this. There's, there's only two outcomes to this, so hopefully I get it. This is, this is kind of, this is just goofy. This is so patronizing and goofy, it's, yeah. Maybe I should stop. Nah, let's, let's ask Gaben. Bless, bless, bless thy Gaben, come on. It worked for the first one, it can work for this one. This is the one that I want to work. Come on. Oh no. Bless thy gab. <sighs> okay, now I'm seriously fucked here. Screw it, let's go. Let's go. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I, I have a feeling I'm about to get loafed here. Am I about to get bread thrown at my head here? Screw it, let's do this. Come on, hypno eyes. Oh, that's painful. That is painful. And we got the bread. We just got breaded here. <sighs> Huge rip. Okay, so with this video, I succeeded one out of three overall, uh, resulting in a huge fat bonx. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. I tried to get it, but I got got. So it feels bad, man. Um, let's have a look at this in game, actually. You know what, this isn't actually too bad. I, I kind of wish the um, the pincers on the side moved. If they twitched, that'd be so cool. If those, if these pincers on the side, if the legs twitched, that that'd be amazing. I really, I really actually wish this was a more of an interactive kind of um, cosmetic. 
So the Brick Crab is on average $25 AUD on the Steam Community Market and the Phono Nought is about $3 AUD and the Shooting Star is about $30 AUD. So total result of about $58 in the end. I mean, it's not a huge rip, but it is still a negative of about $20.90 AUD when subtracting the result from what I paid. But also on an update here, um, from my previous trade up, I was actually trying to get the strange All Hallows hat. But yeah, I actually got this one. I actually got it. I had one key, one crate, opened the crate, boom, I got it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking of putting this in a Christmas theme. Like more of a nightmare before Christmas theme, you know, it's it's got it's a it's a Halloween hat, but it's got festive lights on it And I think I might paint it a green. I'm not too sure if it's I'm not too sure if indubitably green will work with it or lime green I think lime green would be a bit too light, but I think indubitably green Would be more of a fitting color here. Yeah, I think I'll just do that But yeah, sort of an update video here that I actually actually got what I wanted to get from a trade-up um but not through a trade-up. I actually got it through an unboxing. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. But in conclusion, peeps, I hope you all enjoyed. I am looking forward to doing more of these trade-up videos, especially during the upcoming Smithsmas update and the new items that will bring. So like and subscribe and comment below what your trade-up results were recently, if you've done any. And as always, have a good one. Peace.